Oh, it's a booster! Whoa! Dude, this thing is fast! We can go and run over Poopy Tim with this. And we're definitely gonna. What? It's a boomerang! It's a magical boomerang! Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going champs? We're playing Teardown. Hill and Bob has updated his mod, Map of the Man. This is where we met Sweaty Pete. I called him Sweaty Pete. Thankfully, the modder has actually taken on that name. This guy is now officially called Sweaty Pete. We did it, guys. We've named Poopy Tim. And we've named Sweaty Pete. This is really good. So the mod's been updated. We've got these little guys, but there's also a ragdoll Sweaty Pete over there and some new guy right here. Okay, there's a new guy. I haven't come up with a name for him yet, but I probably will. I just want to look at these ragdoll ones. Let's have a look. Hey, are you a ragdoll? Oh, yeah, he is. He is. You can see he like bends at the knees and stuff. He's got a bone stub. He can just wave his bone stub around like, hey guys, it's fine, Sweaty Pete's okay. Are you okay back there, Sweaty Pete? I'm just gonna whack him a few times, just to bash his chest skin off. There we go, that'll help him cool down. Can you handle some wood? Yeah, you can. All right, there we go, nice. Just attaching some wood to his pants. Nothing weird about that, just loads of planks. I think I need to upgrade my planks. There we go. Just gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned Texas barbecue with Sweaty Pete. We've got to leave him for 13 hours. We'll come back. We're going for a low and slow cook method. But he actually, he kind of looks angry compared to Sweaty Pete, doesn't he? He's got like an angry vibe, like some kind of angry man. I'm just gonna shoot off that one's bum. He doesn't need a bum. He kind of looks a little bit like an Aldi brand Chuck Norris. Your name is Nuck Churris, all right? That is a super dumb name, but that's what you're calling you, champ. We're calling you Nuck Churris. I've also installed this cool laser slicer. Um, it's it's actually not slicing anything at the moment. How does this thing work? How does it work? Oh, you got to right click, and then it cuts like a perfect square off him. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Does it work on his face? Are you ready, Nuck Churris? I don't know what I just did. Oh yeah, it's good. It works really well. Here you go, Sweaty Pete. There we go, now we can see his ribs. That is a really cool mod, man. I've got no idea how they do these ones, but that is seriously awesome. So what are these dudes over here? Oh, I think that's his skeleton. That's Sweaty Pete's skeleton. Okay, and that's, is that Sweaty Pete's circulatory system? I think it is. Has he got guts? Oh God, what have we done? His skeleton is leaving his body. It's just like, it's just trying to leave. What? What? Why is that happening? Oh God. Oh God. Get it out of there. Get it. Yeah. I'll help you out, dude. Just, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on. If I just shake it around a little bit, we're getting the meat everywhere. I really like this map. It's loads of fun. It's cool to see some people, you know, making like other humans and stuff like that. It's really good. Taking inspiration from K-Savvy. Oh, I nailed him. Whoa, this is really cool. So I don't know if you guys recognize this, right? Some hardcore Zelda fans, maybe? Breath of the Wild was the very first Zelda game I played. You could even go inside the homes. What do we got inside here? There's like a tavern. There's a chest. Can you, you can open the chest. Dude, the level of detail in this is incredible. What is that? It's a glass. I've got some glass. Can we just go outside with this thing? It's probably a diamond. I think it's a diamond. Can you? You can't even break. Oh no, it's a, it's a bottle? What? I love this, dude. This is really cool. If you know what Zelda game it's from, let me know in the comments, all right? I kind of want to play that Zelda game now. Hey, heart, life, medicine, and uh, clearly a bomb. Ah! I wasn't expecting it to actually blow up. Dude, ouch. Oh no, the treasure chest. It's on fire. What's inside? Hey, we got a thing. Is that a heart? I think I broke the heart. Oh, we got a broken heart. Hey, it's got sparklies coming off it. What? It's a boomerang. It's a magical boomerang. Oh man, that's cool. That is cool. Bit of an Australian culture going on there with the boomerang. This is phenomenal. Like honestly, 
Here I was thinking it was just a map that we could ex you know, explore around, have a look at the sights and things like that. But it's got actual unique objects that you can play with. This is phenomenal. If you've got teardown, go ahead and grab this mod. It's amazing. Hey, what's this? Oh, 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 it's a spooky well. Spooky well. No, it's not. <laughs> it looked like a spooky well, but it's not real. What about this? Oh, uh, you know I'm gonna bust through there. Red things might explode. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. What is it? It's a forest. Dude, I love this map. This is one of my favorite maps by far. Can you bash a tree? Yeah, you can bash a tree if you want. I don't know if there's anything on the inside of them. Whoa! Whoa! It's like a whole river down here. What is this? Is that money? What? Exploding disc? Oh, a nice little lantern. I'm taking this lantern. This is my lantern. I'm taking it. Hey, it's Mario! Cool. So apparently this map is like a work in progress. I really can't wait to see, you know, what sort of stuff they add into it. This is so much fun, man. Oh, for you guys who like creepy maps, I thought I'd check out this one called The Night Shift. And it's like a recreation of some spooky game called The Convenience Store. I've never played it. I do like spooky games though, I just don't have enough time to play them anymore. I used to play loads and loads of horror games back before I did YouTube. Okay, okay, I'm a truck driver. That's the story. This feels a little bit like the beginning of, uh, of Resident Evil, the remake that they just did. But I need to think about this. I'm a truck driver. Um, I'm probably angry at the prices of gas. Uh, what else? Um, I've got, like, stains on my pants. I'm sorry that I'm generalizing truck drivers right now, but I'm going for the stereotype, all right? Uh, let's go inside. I'm look- I'm probably looking for some kind of meat or something. Or ma maybe, I don't know, like a coffee? Am I looking for a coffee? Oh, this is kind of cool. So they made like a store. What's going on out the back here? Employees only. I- I'm a truck driver. I can do whatever the heck I want. Gas shut off valve. All right, it's off. What else we got? What's out the back here? Oh, any dead bodies? Where's the spook? I mean, the whole game has like a bit of a spooky vibe to it. Sorry, the whole map, because it's nighttime. Everything's spookier at nighttime. Oh, I could steal a car. Not condoning stealing cars at all, or implying that truck drivers would steal a car. I could probably, I could probably poop in here. That's something I could do, because we all know that truck drivers poop. I'm not saying they poop more than regular people, but they they poop because they are people. This is pretty awesome. Can I drive this car? Yeah, I can. Nice. Can I break down this cool sign? Yeah, I can. Also nice. You can see the reflections of the gas station on the side of the truck. That's how you know you got some awesome reflections. We're gonna go over this way. We're gonna crash the truck into the gas station. No, we're not. Okay, we need to somehow bring the truck back over this way. I have an idea. I think we should use a grapple hook. Ah, that's not working. Okay, maybe if I use scorpion arms. Go. Get over here. Ah. Uh. Come here. Get over here. All right, get that car out of the way. Get over here. Come on. Yes, yes. No, no, it blew up. Oh, now the ground's the ground's just taking off. See, ground. So I'm just gonna go down here, then we're gonna crash the trunk through this. Oh, oh, we blew up already. Whoa, it did not like me doing that. So does this gas station even blow up? Because that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, it does. Oh, that is cool. k Sabby's updated the map yet again to add three new modes to the map. You've got clothed mode, right? So Poopy Tim is now wearing clothes. You can have regular Poopy Tim, or you can have extreme bloody Poopy Tim, which means he's got like blood and stuff on the inside of him, and it's probably super brutal. Oh, he's got clothes. Yes. So he looks like the smaller version of himself now. The guy had like the hammer and stuff like that. That is really cool, man. That is awesome. Yeah, crunch him, crunch him. 
Yeah. Clothes aren't gonna stop me from crunching you, dude. I need to use the laser slicer on Poopy Tim. That's what we need to do. That's why we're here. And to see what else is new on the map. Okay. So we can cut his chest. We can just cut the clothes off if we need to. That's kind of cool. What about your face? Yeah, we can just like chew- oh, oh, Look away! <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> that is really bad! But see how good it is for like breaching walls? That is really cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah, nice. And then you can just jump through. Doosh. Right through. Hey, he's even got boots on as well! Awesome! Oh god. He just blew his legs off with that explosive. Now something that I never noticed before is that the Shred Dozer is over here as well. That is awesome! So this is the creation by Battle Bob and this thing is amazing. We can actually change what direction it chomps stuff. Just by clicking our mouse, right? We can go and run over Poopy Tim with this. And we're definitely gonna. Alright, come on. Come on Poopy Tim! Oh, it just turns him to nothing. Just to nothing. What? Poopy Tim's home. Hey, there's even a sign there that says Poopy Tim's home. Let's go ahead and speed this thing up. Make it go fast. Look at him looking out the window. Super worried. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Oh, God. It just goes through there like butter. Look at that. It doesn't even struggle. It doesn't even struggle a little bit. All right, I'm going to go in reverse. And I'm just gonna see if I can suck Poopy Tib's legs into this thing. Oh, not really. It just chews them up. This Shred Dozer, man, is seriously amazing. I love this truck. It's really cool. Taking out some zombies. Just gonna mow them all down. It just, like, it turns them into tiny little zombie bricks. Look at the zombie bricks. Look at the zombie, zombie bricks. Zombie bricks just flying out the top there. Oh, dude, Zombie Bix sounds like a cereal. You know what I mean? Like a zombie themed cereal. I'd eat it. Oh, this is the best way to do it. There we go, C-Top. I'm just gonna place you over here, dude. Just give him a little shove. Ugh. There we go. God, he's so tall. If I just, just grab the butt for a minute. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's it. That's it. We just need to stop him before he falls. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, simply Chris. Come here, dude. Ah, and finally Dre. There we go. We'll just make sure he doesn't crack the back of his head. That'd be a shame. Okay, then we get the Shred Dozer. <laughs> got the three of them lined up. We've got C-Top, Simply Chris, and Dre. Let's go, dudes. Yep. Oh, oh. Just crunching him good. Crunching him so good. <laughs> I love this thing. This is the best tool in the world. Oh man, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Hey, who's this dude? Oh, yes, yes, it's the Hoff. It's the Hoff, and this is Kit. It's Kit for Knight Rider, that is so cool. That is absolutely amazing. So this Knight Rider mod was made by Rev Mahov, and it kind of reminds me of Paint the Town Red. It's got that vibe about it, like the way that the dude's face is just plastered on there. That is I just picked him up and something weird happened. That- What? What? When I pick him up, I go flying into the air. Why is that? That's so strange. Hey, dude. How are you? He just likes to have a bit of a lie down because he's tired. Oh, yeah. We're going to drive Kit. Let's get in. I never actually watched this show, which is one of those things that I know about, though. You know what I mean? Look at all the buttons you've got. What is a Z flip? Deny everything. Oh, you can, you can just roll. You can do a barrel roll. That's really cool. Okay, if you're a fan of barrel rolls, you can do that. Uh, we've got thrusters. Cool, we can take off if we want. Oh, it's a booster! Whoa! Dude, this thing is fast! Dude, it's indestructible as well! You can't destroy this car! Oh, I just smacked Poopy Tim's feet off. Oh, it's super shaky. Okay, I need to zoom in, I think. What? Night Industries 2000! Kit! Oh, man! Oh, there's a brick in here. Okay. Oh, it's so fast! Oh, dude, you can just drive through homes? What? This is so much fun, dude! Smash all the things. Just mowing down zombies and stuff. 
It's a very powerful destructive vehicle, I won't lie. It's just a little bit shaky, I can't work out why. Some cars, when they go really fast in this game, they do go super shaky. So we can fly, right? Yes! You can fly so well. Oh yeah, there we go, that worked. This car would be really cool if they made like a mode where you had to catch bad guys or something like that, you know what I mean? That is loads of fun, man. Now like always, if there's any mods you want me to check out, let me know in the comments, and thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.